what do you make about Colin Kaepernick and the Houston Texans? And, and if that should have happened? Well, I think if it was up to the football people, it probably would have happened. If it was up to Bill O'Brien and Rick Smith, probably. But I think the owner, uh, Bob McNair has a lot to, a lot of say so as to who the personnel is, especially a controversial fig- figure like Colin Kaepernick, whether he wants him to come to his football team or not. And I'm sure that's where it got axed. Um, I just don't think any team is going to sign Colin from this point on just because of the lawsuit that he has against the league and against the owners. I just don't think they're going to enter into that. Uh, and and I, I thought, if anything, if he was going to file a lawsuit, he maybe should have waited till this season was over. Uh, if he did want to play this year, because it was almost like, does he really want to play if he's going to go and sue the league and then also try and get signed by a football team? The two just don't seem to mix. Do you know Bob McNair? Have you had dealings with him? Do you have a relationship with him over the years? I have met Bob McNair many times. I don't have a relationship with him, but he's always been a really nice man to me. He's a very well respected guy in that community. He's done a lot of things for, uh, for charity. Uh, he brought the, the Houston Texans to that, that city, a city that had been without football for 10 years. So he's, uh, he, he's really looked highly upon in that city, but because of some of the recent things that have happened since these protests started and some of the comments that he's made, it's really kind of changed some people's opinion about him. Has he gotten a bad rap? Is he misunderstood knowing him the way you know him? From what I know about him and from what he said, I think he is a little bit misunderstood, unless that is his thinking. I'm really not sure. You know, a lot of a lot of owners tend to think that way sometimes, that they want the players to do exactly what they want them to do, and, and they don't want them to do anything too far outside of football, unless it's maybe doing something positive in the community. Uh, when it comes to having active voices, uh, that's something that kind of worries a lot of the owners because sometimes it affects the bottom line at the at the uh, at the gates. So I think it was just a bad choice of words and a bad, a bad analogy. And and uh, if he if he could break take those words back and maybe use some type of other analogy, maybe he would. But it, it's too late once it get gets out there and it gets in the social media. You know how people's minds are, are made up by by what they think.